Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I have gotten the same request probably a dozen times in the past six months. So I figured I would go ahead and fulfill that request from the viewers regarding what's in this box. This is a box I keep in my boat at all times. It's a box that I hope I don't ever need to come uh, pull out. But at the same time, it's something I'm very happy I have. So that's what I want to go over today is what's in this box. Just to give you guys some helpful tips in case you ever need it as well. And I think it's very important that we all carry a similar box in our boat. So I was going through my boat, starting to get things ready, moving things out since my tournament season's over. And I came across it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the video because I've gotten so many requests. Before I specifically get into what's in this box, I do want to remind you guys, though, that if you're looking for uh, additional content from me, check out my members only page. Also, if you want to support the channel in another way, please do your tackle shopping using my tackle warehouse affiliate link, which I provide in the description of the video. That's a great way to support the channel and it's very much appreciated. All right, guys. So what is this box? This box is in my boat because it's a first aid kit. It's something that I think everybody needs to carry uh, in their boat just in case something happens, whether that's somebody gets uh, stuck with a hook and the hook needs to come out and you need to dress it, whether it's you got a, uh, a, a big cut or something like inside of a cut and you think you're worried about getting an infection, or maybe you just happen to have some stomach issues and really need to go to the bathroom and you want to put an end to that so you can continue fishing. I feel like I've got it all covered here. I've got a waterproof tight uh, plain old box, which I think is very important because you don't want your stuff to get wet. But within this box, I've got all kinds of different first aid stuff. Uh, one of the first is a roll of waterproof adhesive tape. This is great, not only if you have a cut or and you want to put a bandage on, but a lot of times, guys, if you're catching fish really, really good and your, your hands are starting to be worn away by just lipping so many fish, put a piece of tape on there. That works great. It's also really good if you uh, are using doing a pattern throughout the day. Maybe you're flipping a big weight and you're starting to get a uh, callus form or a blister form, cover it up with some tape. I think this is one of the most important things I've got in this box. Uh, like I was saying before, I've got some of the pink stuff, some Pepto-Bismol in case you have some stomach issues. And the last thing you want to be doing is running to the shore if there's a hot bite going on. Uh, I've also got a ton of different full-size bandages in case you do need, you know, you get a bad cut or something happens and you need to put a pretty big bandage over it. I've got that. Uh, I've got a bunch of different, even bigger bandages in case you get a very large cut or you've got some sort of burn that you need to cover up because that can all happen on the water. Uh, so bandages are very important. That's also where the tape comes in handy. A couple other things I've got here. I've got some more pink stuff, but I've also got here a kit full of tweezers uh, some needles, a razor blade, some scissors, kind of all the things that you would need to potentially suture somebody up, uh, as well as if you've got maybe a big splinter, you need to pull it out with twe tweezers. Uh, the scissors are just another thing that I like to keep a separate pair of scissors from my scissors I use in the boat. I would just rather have a clean pair that I don't have to worry about, uh, getting some sort of infection from using dirty scissors. So I think that's important. I carry with me some antibiotic uh, ointment to put on a cut if you get a cut. Uh, I also will note that I, I carry with me other stuff too, like your your traditional sunscreens, um, you know, different types of uh, aloe as well for sunburns, but I don't keep them necessarily in this box. I just have them in the boat more readily available. I've got some Advil. I've got some uh, Sudafed, if you got a really bad cold, um, this is an important one for me, Benadryl, uh, Benadryl for me, uh, I do have some allergic reactions to various things like bug bites, as well as some food allergies, so I carry with me an EpiPen, I carry that in my Yugo waterproof case, which also has my phone and wallet and keys in it, uh, but I do carry with me an EpiPen, but I love to have some Benadryl with me as well in case you start getting something, some sort of uh, allergic reaction. I've also got various 
uh, like flu medications. So if you do end up getting some, you know, a virus while you're on the water, you know, you can get it, you can take one of those and hopefully pound through the day. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't necessarily condone being on the water if you feel bad, because I think a lot of times if you're out in bad weather conditions, you can make your your conditions worse. But at the same time, if you're fishing a tournament and you've got to pound through the day because you can't afford to miss it, then you should have some of the proper medications on the water. Uh, you know, I've got, I've got some, this is a burn cream that I carry with me, uh, a whole bunch of alcohol swabs to clean infected areas or cuts or, you know, any place you are concerned about getting infection, just some other band-aids, um, just a bunch of various things. You know, I've got some other forms of, uh, medications as well in here, I guess you could say, or different types of flu medicines and cold medicines, but it all comes down to having a little bit of each. But that's what I carry, guys. I, I would like to know from you guys if you think there's additional things I should add in this, because every year I do go through it, put some new stuff in it, take some stuff out and redo it. But if you have certain things that you think I should include in my first aid kit, please share them in the comment section because I do not want to be forgetting something. I kind of take pride in being as prepared as possible on the water, uh, you know, and that includes other stuff. Like I've got all my my uh, uh, flare kits and all kinds of stuff that I need for like boat emergencies. But I think it's very important to have the right stuff for a health emergency as well. Uh, so if I am forgetting anything, please throw that in there. But I do think all of you guys should include something like this on the water. You know, if you're going out even just for a few hours, I think it's worth having it in your boat. I keep this in my boat at all times. But if you even if you have a little first aid kit that you can throw in your tackle box, that makes it all worthwhile. Anyways, guys, I hope that satisfies the request that I've had for this. I'm very surprised by how many people want to know what I carry in my first aid kit. I've mentioned that I have it in the past a few uh, in a few other videos, and I always get these requests from that. So, uh, guys, I hope this uh, I hope this helps you in the future. Put a first aid kit together, take it in the boat. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have another video tomorrow for you.